Are you ready, my little biscuit? I know, I've just had some toast, haven't I? I must smell very buttery. A buttered woman, girls! Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel and my little biscuitina. Oh, a yawn already starting how we mean to carry on. Alrighty, time for bed. And welcome back to another episode of Janice Dickinson's Modeling. <laughs> Yes, yes! Oh dear, the last episode was a lot, wasn't it, Biscuit? And I think today we're also going to see a lot, aren't we, Mr. Biscuit? Mm, yes. This season has been so confusing, and I think the last episode was probably one of the hardest we've had to watch so far, my loves. Which is, of course, not taking into consideration what we might see today. It is kind of cold, so I'm really... Oh, little Biscuit! It's kind of cold, so I'm really enjoying cuddling him a little bit, because for some reason I decided to be a slut and wear a ridiculous outfit. An idiot sandwich. So, my lovelies, let's get straight into it today with one of the top comments from the last episode, which is by Blaze Carlton. And they say, do you want to read it, Biscuit? Do you want to read it? This show really feels like Janice's personal diary, where every entry is, Dear diary, today I was amazing and I did the best job ever and everyone else sucked as per usual. Could not agree more. This reality TV show, as I've said multiple different times, in multiple different places, throughout multiple different universes, this isn't really a modelling show. This is Janice's personal reality TV show that just happens to feature some people who think they're going to become models because I think that's what production kind of sold this to them as. She's educated. So my lovelies, make sure you get your beverage at the ready. Today I'm on the Ultra Rosa. Oh, it's, I know it's cold and I know you like it, but you do have a full bowl of water ready for you to go, but I know it's not pink and exciting. How dare you? Make sure you pop your ochenger right into your little Janice hole and let's watch Janice Dickinson's modeling. <laughs> Season two, episode six, my lovelies. Oh, what are we gonna see today? You have a serious mental illness. Do your own thing, whatever it is that you do in a pastel pink dress on the boulevard. The old zone. Oh, an Afghan hound. I like an Afghan hound. They're elegant women. They're kind of more left, actually, aren't they? Right, okay, here we go. On the corner of... Hello, <laughs> welcome. We're about to meet with Wind... Oh, my God, I was watching a YouTube video the other day with Rowley, and I was like, that's it, Janet Dickinson's modelling agency was 15 years ago. She's a woman. Hello, welcome. Hello. I'm not going to be very nice Linia to you. Pelle. I'm really Linia excited Pelle. to see what unfolds for the models, because... They pay a really good day rate, and hopefully it'll be great photographs for the models. What can we do for you? Well, that seemed a little bit like someone had just handed her a mic and gone, so tell us today why you're here for the mushroom hunt. And you have to go, well, the mushrooms that we find in the forest are really nice here today, and they pay a good day rate, and we'll get some nice photos. Did I do well? Anxiety, mosquito. That was odd, wasn't it? Interesting. We need certain kinds of models to represent who we are. We're casual lifestyle, sexy, edgy, but classy. We came to Janice Dickinson for our 07 fall campaign. We do belts, we do handbags. We have a tremendous You've got your belts. You've got your handbags. handbags. Oh, what's this necromancer and look? And Oh, a dark purple lip while she judges the belts disdainfully. I hear that's how she died. Uh, interesting energy in the studio here today, my loves. What we're looking for is a sexy, edgy model, male and female. Bring the Ooh. guys in. But both. These are some of the hottest men in Southern California. Right, okay. Donna? Belts and handbags? Knock yourself out. Is this going to be like... another, like, sell the handbag by the pool? Shy of anything. There you go, I'm done. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, JP! Yeah. TJ's always the same, you know, he's got this, like, soap opera-esque kind of wannabe actor thing. He's uh, way too good to be coming in here during auditions. He doesn't even say hello to me anymore. Which one guy do you want? You've got the choice of that. No overriding, yes? Okay. I like him. Oh, my God, Donna, you're like a croupier at Vegas. You know what? I know what I like. I know what I like, and I know it very quickly. I'm very excited to be able to... To work with Lenny. Did we meet? Who, did we meet Donna? Do we know who Donna is? Donna. No. Donna. L.A. and build my book up even more. T.J. Right. says the rest of you guys. Thank you very much. Welcome, ladies. To just the T.J. Best cream of the crop. One more. Fresh. Fresh face. Thank you. Hang on. So, am I to believe 
that Janice brings all of her models in for a single casting for one model. She's looking for one model. She brings everyone in. That would be correct. Not just like shortlisting who they're potentially interested in and then bring that person in. See, it's not how a real modeling show would work. No, modeling agency girls, no. Stina. Oh, Stina, yeah. she was gonna leave. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What immediately caught my eye was- Stina Donna Katz, VP and creative director of Le Nail Pilouage in Guadalese. Yeah. Nice to meet you. What immediately caught my eye was Stina and Desiree. They were absolutely stunning and gorgeous. Right, uh, you okay. as well. I knew he was gonna pick her. Fargo. I, know, yeah, I, I just knew it. Ladies, always pick. you're not what they're looking for today. Thank you very much. Now you may go. Um, Crystal, come back here for one second. Donna, just look at Crystal's book for your consideration. She's different than what she looks in person. It's like amazing how she. Autograph she's back. like a Linda Evangelista type. Thank I think you. You should join this. Thank you. Please, 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 please join the Thank, Thank, Thank you. Ladies, please. Interesting. Is that production maybe being like, oh my God, she needs part of her storyline? Or has Janice, have we just seen Janice actually there and stand up and go, oh yeah, you should, you, we should work with her. But Janice's relationship with Crystal has been really, really tumultuous because in the last several episodes, we've seen her go like, oh, but you are awful, aren't you? We've got an email about you, you're terrible. Oh, but you're wearing a bikini, so you are morbidly obese, girls. Electric chair. I, I don't understand what's happening. I think everyone here might be the same as I understand. I understand. I don't understand, bitch. I don't understand. I don't understand, bitch. Remove your clothing. So oh, don't get and naked. Women can put belts around your waistlines and they will be able to consider your bodies for a shoot. Mm. Uh. Okay, so they're all gonna wear belts around their waists and their bodies are gonna be considered. Now, I understand, you know, it's the modeling industry. Well, this isn't the modeling industry. This is a TV show. This, it's the modeling industry and they want a specific body type to represent the brand. I get that, you know, it is what it is. We can have a discussion about that. But at the end of the day, is a company's like brand identity to have a specific image associated with it. It just should also be inclusive. However, no wonder why all of us millennials growing up with like TV shows like this will look at belts and go, why doesn't this make me look like I'm, I don't know, six foot three and shaped like a bean. Maybe a little too thin. Can you turn around? Right. Just okay. Ooh. Okay. Why? Like, How can you ever be too thin? <gasps> Janice. Stuff like on the belt, body. Wow. She's very beautiful. She's smoking. Turn around. Great, thank you. Crystal's oh, rocking. She's, she's smoking. Right there, perfect. Do you have a book? I don't. You do not have a book. And why is he don't have a book? I haven't gotten any of my pictures to put in my book. Ah, got it. Oh, okay, here we go. But I photographed her and she's perfect in back of the camera. Interesting. I have a hair on me. Where is it? So Fargo does not have a book, which means that Janice has been so like, no, I don't want you here, no. We're literally seeing bullying like in real time because Janice doesn't like the way that Fargo looks or doesn't like the kind of image that Fargo has, even though Fargo appears to be so far the only one booking multiple different paying jobs. It's interesting to see Janice go down this route of like, oh, we need a high fashion woman on the go in LA. Yet LA is based around the idea of like commercial success models, so. Why doesn't she have a book? Why haven't production put something together for her in order to like make her look like a successful model? Maybe it's a case of like, oh, her storyline isn't going too far. I know it! <gasps> have we stumbled upon a conspiracy scandal? I'm going to cream. Probably not. I mean, it's TV from 2007. <laughs> Jenny. Jenny. Who's smoking? She was voted the num number 10 top maximum number one. Eight. Eight, oh sorry, eight. Okay. Max and Picks. I don't think that the girl, she Donna, like I don't think that she is real, um, a big fan of mine, but when um, I think liked me. All right, now, Ooh, music. four girls. Bing, 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 bing. Look at that belt. I, oh, that's a say something belt. I love, I love her. And we're gonna shoot you as well. These two, are, yeah. So would you come forward? Okay. So you shoot two, you come now. forward. Do we have one main girl? Yeah, Sina's the main, Sina and uh, TJ are the main. Yeah, two main girls. Oh, you want two main girls? That's what I just said. Oh. Two main girls. Oh. 
Oh, I've done in our catalog. Okay, I, oh, yes, catalog. I you went over my head. I totally didn't know what you were doing. Obviously, there's some kind of miscommunication between Donna and Wynn on what they were looking for. I agree, Janice Dickinson, for the first time in human history, girls. Switching sides. Interesting that in the last episode we heard basically a storyline about Stina thinking about leaving the modeling agency because she wasn't being respected in her position. Now she's been chosen as like a forefront in a campaign. So is that a little bit of jiggery pokery from TV? Or is that just a storyline that we are meant to invest some personal emotion into Stina? Is it like, knock her down, build her up, knock her down, build her up, girls? Oh, reality TV. Magic, isn't it? Not good magic, just magic. Oh! I have no idea what they're fighting about. Who knows, it's a father-daughter thing. You guys, you I guys mean, get it together. I, I don't have all day. Time. Coming up. Imagine talking to a client like that. You guys get it together. Like, who wants to work with Janice at this point? No one. On the Janice Dickinson Modeling Agency. I, we are five minutes in and we have had two adverts so far. I don't know how anyone watches television in America. Oh dear, the music. We're dead space. We're in the middle of casting Linnea Pele with Donna and Win Katz, and the two of them were not exactly on the same page for what they need for the shoot. Right. You guys, you guys get it together. Right. I, I don't have all day. All right, so one more time. So we Tease. have two main girls. Right. Lisa Rinna. She pieces when she boards. Sometimes she shorts. Uh, right. Yes, okay. One main girl. That's it. You got your shoot. All right. You have Wonderful. Congratulations, ladies. I Was just booked the Linnea Pele ad campaign for 07. I'm so excited because I made it by just a hair. Congratulations right. to you all, and Janice, thank you. I think we're going to get from the photo shoot exactly what we want. I appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. Okay, interesting, right? Uh, sure. I wonder why they picked two ladies and one male model. Is it because, like, a handbag on one lady, a belt on another, and just a man nearby? <laughs> what the hell is that? That's not sexy. Right, okay, what's that? Hollywood girls! Good morning! The streets are paved with gout! Today, Peter and I rented out a photo studio and are spending our own money to get our models some more photographs for their books. None of these models have done actual photo shoots. Everything has been like, come and get photographed by Janice. Go to this area, get photographed by Janice. Oh my God, there's a charity event. Go over there, do that. No. They're not getting real jobs, are they? This, it's painfully obvious. We're on episode six, not a single real job has been done. How did no one question this at the time? How wasn't there like articles written about this show being like, Janice Dickinson's modeling agency, more like Janice. <laughs> the expose. So I'm here to direct, guide, assist, and give my models the valuable experience that I've had for the last 32 years in front of the camera and in back of the camera's photographer. Right, so this isn't a real photo shoot, again. But she's hired a photoer, a photoer, a photographer, what's it called? Elion Meyer. Okay, so what's the theme? Is she gonna be like, everybody get naked? The prophecy is true. So it's up to you to pull out their best looks. Pull yeah. them out. All right, well, let's go, let's go. Pull them out, pull them out. The purpose of today is to turn out the most important composite that we possibly can for advertisers, for magazine editors, for She doesn't sound like she, she's very confident clients. in what she's saying. You have to make sure you watch your P's and Q's, and you all have to be on, which is why I'm always screaming it. You should be on with poses, diet, nutrition, styling, hair. I might be bringing some other models to pose this afternoon, so there might be a big surprise for those of you that have been screwing up on my jobs lately. You know, some of you are on thin ice and some of you are on the fence as far as still being in this agency, okay? She always says this. She's like, oh, some of you are just awful girls. Why are you so terrible? Like, we never see them on jobs or doing anything. So it's like, what What are you, What? what's the point of this storyline? What, what's the point? The point of the storyline, like, it's desirable to be in the agency and you could be dropped at any moment. This feels a bit like, what's the, well, how can I say this? Uh? You're not going to make it to the pageant if you don't behave like you want to even be in the pageant. It's very, like, almost domestic, um, and you. What are you doing, Marcus? Do you really want to leave? I mean, is everything coming out of my mouth something for you to, like, mock and make fun? You've got to stop. Janice is calling me out in front of everybody. 
I don't know why she was yelling at me. I don't know why she she got this little thing with me. But for the last past couple of days, me and Janice been having our little difficulties. We don't think you're funny anymore because this still photograph doesn't talk and you can't hear a rap, okay? You have to stop. Hey, let everybody come outside and meet my guest model. It's pretty exciting because we don't know who's coming in and we don't know if we're going to do a photo shoot. Is that lady in the back just getting steamed? What's this? Who's coming in Steam the woman. She's dead. Yeah. We don't know if we're going to oh, do a photo so shoot nice or they're just going to talk to us. So it's going to be exciting to see. Right, what's the other model? Is it a car? Is it a dog? This limousine. Okay. Why don't you go yeah, over there the and bring her a new model in, okay? Sure, right. Ah! Hi! Hello. Hello. Hey, come here, Marcus. Marcus, come here. Marcus! Janice just pulled out a guest model. I thought Naomi Campbell was getting out the limo. They pulled a big-ass yellow snake out. <laughs> it was giant. It was yellow. Its name was Banana. They brought... <sighs> okay, sure, sure, sure. Animals in photo shoots anyway, I'm a little bit like, uh, if she wants to put it on someone who's like nervous about being with a snake, that is so ridiculous. And I hope that that doesn't happen in television now because animals are not toys. It out and it was this big. Go in there, we're shooting this right away. Beautiful Everybody creature. welcome oh, the new model. Snake. My model is going to be able to pose not only snakes, crocodiles, alligators, predators, jets, planes, going to space. My model is to have to be able to pose in any situation because going that's to space the nature with a of snake. the snake. I don't think so. Oh my god, that's hot. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. See, already a lot better than any photo that Janice has taken. But why are they on a green background, I wonder? Are they going to green screen them into space? But also, I hate that noise, that photography click. Listen. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Oh my god, that's hot. A lick? Oh, oh that dear. That's hot. Oh my god. During my photo shoot with a snake, um, it started going down. I had it uh, around my back. It became a thong. <laughs> oh dear. Um, okay, very expensive. I, I, I don't know if I'm allowed to put this on, on the YouTube. <laughs> um, I had a very expensive uh, snakeskin thong. <laughs> All right, listen to me, honey. Work with oh, him, yeah. connect with him. That sound is right, jarring. But, uh, don't oh. make stupid faces. <gasps> Not get your willy out, girls, with your socks on and a snake. No. I'm right, working out. I don't make stupid faces. Janice has been like, oh, we're going to get our models a composite so that we can actually send them off for advertisers and agencies. Where are you going to put this photo, full frame photo, on a composite card? Where do you think it might go? Up my ass. Probably not allowed to be distributed in public. No, breaking obscenity laws, girls. Faces, that's the shot. As far as the animosity goes between the right. uh, new models and old models, I think there's still some uh, bitterness between the old oh my guys. Gosh, I still forgot a bit there's jealous also like that storyline looking name. models. New versus old. Beautiful, beautiful, like that, like that, like that. Yes, yes. Well, at least yeah. they haven't gone through a storyline of like, this woman's petrified of this snake, so we're gonna put this snake on this petrified woman. Well, yet anyway. Wait, Robert! Wait, hold it right there. I'm gonna add something to this outfit. Handler man! Is it a spider? Maybe. Ooh. What's the matter? I'm afraid of things biting me. Models should not have feelings, I'm sorry. Go. Janice said that becoming a supermodel, you have to pose with animals, and I'm about to put a huge tarantula on my shirt. Why is she getting a tarantula? And I'm so scared of spiders. You drop the tarantula and you're gonna be out of here. <gasps> Touch it. And then look at him like that. Look at him. I've never been so nervous. I'm like so sweating. It's gross. I feel I don't know how I feel about all this. This is this is a bit much. That's like pushing someone's fear right to the very edge. If you want a model that looks great in photos posing with spiders, why wouldn't you get a model that's not afraid of spiders? Budget cuts! Why would you want to put the model that's terrified of spiders in with the spider? This surely was a moment just for like television ratings or for Matt, maybe for Janice to feel like I'm making you do something that I want you to do. That was not erotic to everybody. This model does actually look great here, but also like, 
Why would you want this on a composite card? What is the point of this photo and what is it like advertising if it was on a composite card being like, Oh, this model worked for this brand doing all that. What's the brand? Ticklingspiders.com As a child on the farm, I only ever dreamt of Ticklingspiders.com <laughs> I feel gross. I want to take a shower. Longer neck because your neck is creasing. Modeling with the great. tarantula and the snake is showing our girls... Not a tarantula head. and a snake. Not at the same... Okay, I would pass away. But what is she doing this for? This is just... This This is just like, let's make them all uncomfortable and get it on camera, right? I mean, look at poor JP here. Who had a big storyline in the last episode. He's got a spider on... He's got a spider on his head. I think he might be dead. There's a tarantula on his forehead and a snake on his shoulder. If he moves any which way and the tarantula falls and dies or hurts itself, or the snake falls off his shoulder and hurts itself. If that was me in this situation, I would feel so awful. Knowing our girls and guys how to work under pressure. I'm here to see how far they're willing to go. Marcus, get over here. I want you to pose with the snake. Come here. No, indeed. I'm not. No. Okay, the storyline. I'm not going to lie to you. Because I just don't like them. They just, they they worm me. They're like big, normal worms. And they just worm me and you just never know what's going to happen. I spent a lot of money renting this snake for your photograph, for your composite, and for your portfolio. Marcus, you can leave now. You can go out the door and you can keep going. Marcus, I'm not taking one more from you. Why can't I do my photo shoot by myself? No, because you have to pose with the snake because I have to see if you're compliant. And you're fired, Marcus. Bye. You and I, you and I are finished. All right, it's been nice. All right, Jay. Marcus was flipping out about working with a snake and I have to talk him into it. That's gonna, that's going to have repercussions down the road. Marcus is now calm. Take it. What? 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 Just what I was saying earlier, she's now forced someone who doesn't want to work with a snake to work with a snake. For what purpose? This isn't for advertising. This isn't for a paid job. This is just for a photo for a book. This is just for a photo for a composite. This is just for an agency in-house photo. In fact, is it even in-house if they have to rent a photo studio? I don't know if it is classed as in-house. Either way, it's just a photo for Janice. This is it. There's no point to this. There's no big star, illustrious gold star career at the end of this. It's just Janice wants you to do it, so you have to do it. Oh. Oh, dirty girl. She's a dirty girl. Get naked with the snake, Marcus. Get naked with the snake. Oh, uh, if I pose with the snake, I think I proved something to Janice as well as myself. Is she still going to get rid of you? Now she knows she can push you, you this far. You just have to be under that pressure. You got to be pushed to the limit. Jonathan, put the snake on. Put the snake on Jonathan. Yeah. Just kicking out model anybody in this agency. Go. Serve it up. Serve it up. Serve that slop. What's it called? Slop it up. Oh no. Uh, in terms of shooting in front of the older models, i uh, not really bothered by it. Actually, I'm kind of excited about it. I think the, the new crew we got going on oh, is he's the so intimidating soft. crew, if anything. Oh. Watch him. Slam it. You're my favorite model. The amount of underwear bulges I've seen in this episode already, and we're only 12 minutes in. Model, okay? You're like really serving this. The new models are posing better. They're fresher. They're bringing something a little bit different. My older. She's talking as if her older models are like the gold standard, like they were the golden age of cinematography girls. But it's just her last season, people. She's trying to be like, oh, we've come so far already. You were on a billboard that I already paid for in downtown Hollywood, girls. Now we're getting the new faces in. You're going to be replaced. Season two, here she comes. Like, oh, how exhausting. What is this storyline? Models like Chris and like Marcus, they think- If we'd have followed these models for like two or three series and then she was going to bring in loads of new people, maybe that would have been like much more like dramatic in terms of like us as viewers feeling like we've got to know these models and we like them and we feel kind of conflicted about the new age, but that's the way that all industries go. The new people come in and the old ones fade away. If this was like Janice Dickinson's modeling agency, but a cross between Big Brother, maybe that would have been like more exciting and less just like Janice Dickinson's personal diary of hate. <laughs> this is a joke. This is a joke. Well, I mean, it is a bit of a joke. Yeah, Model that fluffy face. chiffon. Every, every look is the same. And, and now Peter Ham is here and he's going to like yell at me. Every right. look is the same. Janice during the shoot today was agreeing with Peter Ham, you know, for once. That I had deer in the headlight eyes. I guess as they're both saying it, I must be doing something wrong. 
am I being visited by heavenly light? I am being visited by heavenly light once more. Do you know, when I started filming this, it was raining outside. But she's the one that asked me back. It's true, it's tea. Shoot her in that. Tea, girls. It's not that pose, because you've got, you need to work on your thighs, Dr. Thigh. All right, you thigh. have a big ass, turn around. What? You know what, all right, robot. you need to work on your thighs, Dr. Thigh. All right, robot. you have a big ass, turn around. Who said the back of her butt? Who, whose male voice is that? All right, robot. you have a big ass, turn around. You know what, Maybe just shoot a headshot, it's not working. I have more of a womanly figure with my hips and I have... Imagine, imagine. More of a womanly figure. This woman, this girl, this model is so tiny. No wonder why all the millennials that were invested in these modeling shows have some form of like body image issue because this is smaller than like a regular woman. She's not plus size, she's not doctor size, she's not got a big gaping ass. Oh, it's disgusting, isn't it? Here with my hips and I have a booty and I like that about myself, but if they want it to be fixed, then, you know, they can be fixed. give me a gym membership. Listen to that language, be fixed, as if having shape to your body is something that is incorrect. What is the standard? Is it literally just like 14 year old prepubescent but tall? Yes. And, you know, they can give me a gym membership. I think that's fair enough. So Jordan finishes the shoot and Peter goes off to talk to her about something. I was Jordan the one who was like, oh, the way that I keep in shape is I walk my dog and she's got a very reactive little West Highland Terrier, I think it was. Interesting. I don't know. And the next thing I knew, she was throwing a major diva hissy fit. What's happened? I don't know. No, no, come here. Don't come What's happening? I'm not no. Not What's happened? Janice, no, you're what, making what it so happened? much worse. You better talk to me. Honestly, I don't like Peter. What happened? I was drinking a soda. When? Just a little while ago. And? So he tells me he whispers in my ear not to drink a soda again. With Jordan Lee, both Janice and I noticed that she had a little bit of softness uh, around her thighs and her booty. Um, Janice sort of told her that she needed to firm up. Then I noticed her about 10 minutes later drinking a, a, you know, an orange soda full of sugar. And I said, look, it's probably not a good idea for you to do that. And uh, she just erupted. Erupted. She erupted or did she actually take herself out of the situation and get a bit upset about it? Because you've just said, fatty, fatty, fat, fat. Don't drink that fatty, fatty, fat, fat to this tiny, tiny person. How any of us made it out through the 2000s, I don't know. You wanna know why all these like aging supermodels were kept rail thin? It's because they were all off their face on drugs. They couldn't possibly keep their body naturally that shape. So the idea that they are looking at natural weight and going, oh, that's wrong is unhinged to me because the way that other people reach those skinny levels is through unhealthy means. That is not the default. That is not the default. Shouldn't be drinking sodas anyway, but you know, look at me. Drink water from now on. Don't worry about it, you're doing a great job. Drink Listen water. to me. No, so. I don't like guys like that. All right, where's your mom? What? Still so strong. No, 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 she's still, she, you know, he, he shouldn't talk to her that way. He, you know, he's an idiot. But but she, I know, but you, you've kind of like personally offended her today. No, I no, did too. No, it's fine. If you I've know, offended her because by saying she needs no, she no, needs no, to take no, this up, no, she has to. No, that's, that's she, my mom. Mom, that's mom my look mom. at me. She has to. There's nothing wrong with her, except if she wants to model, no, the clothes aren't fitting her. Right. And if he the clothes were fitting her, Janice. I'm sorry, that's just not true. Imagine your mum comes in to defend you, because if I, for some reason, had, like, a, an older teenage daughter that wanted to get into modelling, and I was on a shoot, and some <laughs> was like, oh, uh, look at her thighs, Dr. Thigh. Look at your big fat ass, Dr. Fat Ass. I'd be like, you ever speak to anyone of my genealogy like that again? Death! And that wig, burnt. And if Peter comes up to her and says, don't drink soda, he's, he is, no, he's no, inappropriate with no, the way he speaks. Um, um, my, response was, my response was, okay, I'll fix it. I don't have money to go to the gym. Buy me a gym membership because you're a wealthy man. All right, it's not up to him to- and, No, no, no. It's, no, it's, but it's, but mom, it's he owns an agency, right? He does own an agency, so, but so he's, he, not he's not entitled, he's not entitled right to buy you a gym membership. Other girls right here are out there exercising. They run, they do stairs. They don't need, you don't need a gym membership. That's a Southern California mentality. But don't come whisper in my ear. He shouldn't do that. I'm gonna have a talk to him right now. I'll have a talk to him and this will never happen I'll again. I'll drink whatever I damn well please, like- Okay, like, but I, soda I, will, carbonated I never sodas- I soda. There was nothing really else here but- Carbonated like, sodas will- 
will add to the fat self. Who's I'm not finished. I'm not finished with you. I want to have this conversation later. Let me wrap up. Oh, All right. Interesting that they've blurred her mom's face. Walk or something. I don't need it. She's okay. Today during the photo. How dismissive was that? She's like, you're having a problem, you're having a problem, go away, go away, go away, and think about what you've done. Deranged. Nobody speaking in that situation managed to diffuse that situation. Janice got more and more irate, being like, well, he's right, he's right, he's right. Well, so it should swell up the fat cell. Instead of saying, like, okay, we'll make sure we only have water in the next photo shoot. This is her photo shoot. She provided catering, technically. Unhinged behavior, girls. Shoot was an explosion of egos. Of personalities. This is an of ego. Conflict, the only ego exploding fashion here. Fashion who's gonna make it and fashion who's not going to make it. Right. Is that a wrap? I'm still not satisfied with some of the looks the models are giving to me through the lens. I've got a lot more work to do to help these guys pull it out in that area. And I will continue to push these models into getting into the best shapes of their lives for the agency. My good friend Logan today is coming in to show me edited photographs of five of the models that he told me are the weakest link in the agency. Right. Oh my god, okay. we need pictures so badly. I'm Logan Alexander, I'm a fashion photographer as well as a friend of Janice. And she's so, having a problem with about five of her models. So why weren't you at the photo shoot? Oh, interesting. Oh dear. Look at that little body. Let me see the little body. I'm yeah, sorry. She's, 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 she's kind of her muscle's really bad though. Oh dear. I'm sorry. This is, no, no. Oh my god. Okay. All right, but let's look at a really badly taken photo of Janice, shall we? And be like, oh, oh god, oh no, oh her muscle, oh god, oh no. No. Also, why is her makeup artist and hairstylist here being like, oh yeah, no, they shouldn't be in the agency, no. Why is there no business people here making decisions for clients? Something's up with her mouth. Agent. She does the same thing with her mouth. What's up with these kids' mouths? Oh my god, oh my god, I'm having a moment, you guys. Oh my god, oh my god. Good God, it's like an hey, agency of trannies. I like his face. Transphobia, transphobia, sorry. What was that, Janice? Oh dear. Good God, it's like an hey, agency of trannies. I like you had a trans person on your last season and you ridiculed them throughout the entire show. So the idea that Janice is like, I'm very LGBT positive, I'm an ally. You aren't, you aren't, you aren't. You keep a couple of pet gays around, but you're not. Oh, sorry, I don't want this scene. Come on in models. Come on in and sit down here, please. I'm not happy. Logan, go. I've gone through like pretty much everybody's pictures here. Jesus, this is a lot, isn't been it? chosen because I would say you're the weakest ones in the agency. Let's start with Keo. What do you think, Key? I don't like it. The snake looks better than you do in this photograph. The snake has got moved. I'm sorry, but why are you showing like a naked picture and going like, what is this photo? Why we hate it, girls? In front of loads of people, why isn't this just a private conversation? Grace, charm, and natural, just predator ability. You're just standing there presenting it. I look like I'm a, a stroke patient with paralysis on one side of my mouth. I don't know. It, she's right, it looked like crap. Like he's... But they've also purposefully selected these bad photos to make you look even worse. They're not gonna take the best photo and then be like, oh, it's just not as good as the other person's best photo, which would be a, almost like a fair test in this scenario. But it's not a fair test because none of this is for any, any sort of career. Uh, I'm just very confused. Are you confused? I'm confused. So I am confusion. America, explain! You probably have the most slamming body that I have seen personally since Miss Naomi Campbell. I said this to everyone for the last 35 years. You have to feel something, a thought inside of you to bring it from within. Right. Critique this photograph, Miss Kate. Has. Before I do. It's the wrong look for the picture. It looks so confused. You are my highest hopeful in this agency. You're not bringing it, you're not serving it. You're dead, dead, dead. She's also like the youngest one, isn't she? Do you remember it? we saw her with like a feather and a bit of tree and they were like, ah, oh, stunning, a broken doll, stunning. Literally like two episodes ago. But also if you notice the power dynamic in this scenario, the power dynamic here is quite stark because they're on high chairs looking down to give you that feeling of like, oh, you're being judged. You have to beg for your place in this 
agency that also has no clients and is going nowhere, girls. Is that tea? Again, it's the illusion of television, the illusion of putting Janice on such a pedestal. You're dead, dead, dead. When I came in, I think I definitely was put on a pedestal that you know, I can't quite reach. You have it in you to be the most ferocious model I have ever seen in my entire life. All models go through a learning process. This is just part of it. Desiree, my love, these photographs, you weren't expecting to take this day. You had a problem with your body that day. Your body came out phenomenal here. Your makeup, your hair is ferocious. I, yeah, I was uncomfortable. You were uncomfortable? And it showed. This is not the, the job to be insecure. I think that if they didn't care and they didn't think that I could do better, they wouldn't have taken the time. Once again, Andrew, what we're still doing... I feel really... Some, I feel something about Desiree. Like, each time we see a, a confessional from her, she's very, like, timid and almost a little bit like she's been forced to be there. I don't like that at all. And I don't know why, but Janice never matches the energy of people that she's talking to. She's just literally, like, bull in a china shop, loud, obnoxious to people. And not just, like trying to not actively harm people. The way she delivers information is in the most harmful way possible. And she almost like thinks about how to deliver it in the most harmful way possible. But then I'll say things like, well, this industry will treat you worse than I do. And it's like, yes, but you are also part of the industry. You could just not treat people like that. And then the industry would change over time and treat people better. Or alternatively, do you love the way the industry currently treats upcoming models and you want to be a part of that to solidify your authority in your industry? What's more likely? <laughs> Once again, Andrew, what right. we're still doing... Hey, I'm looking for Dorothy. I saw one that was so bad, I tore it up before, so I didn't want anyone to see it. This really isn't the first time that I've been criticized about the way I pose, but she didn't have to say that we were like the worst in the agency because that's no, just not true. No, she could also do what she's I know meant you to. Have it in you. So this is not a boot Lessons today. Story. We're going to take you to the next level, okay? I've got something in store for you. It's gonna yeah. be fun. These it? models are the weakest link in the agency. I am going to take them to a happy place to experience. Oh God, is she going to let them live on the farm? You'll just have to stick around and find out. The Logan, zoo. Of course. Logan, this is it. This is the day of the zoo for the models. Right. Models had the surprise of their lives. Today, Logan and I brought the models to the zoo. Come on out, guys. Welcome to the zoo. <laughs> the main purpose for me bringing the models to the zoo today is to try to help the models release their spirit. Over here, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to take them around and have them look at the animals being in their natural habitat, and we're going to have the models emulate that in a, in a way and also to and try to become free. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. What are we doing? Right, we're going to see some zebras in the zoo. We're going to be like, look like the zebra girls, the zebra you're always meant to be. And if you're not too much like a zebra, you can die. I felt that too. Right. Okay, so 20 minutes into the episode, we've already had scandalabras with other animals being brought onto set. We're now having a trip to the zoo for the worst models in the agency. Not the best, not to secure their placement on like advertising campaigns, but no, to kind of ridicule the worst performing ones. Right. Are you keeping tally of what we've seen so far? Good, because I don't know what's happening. Hooray! Everyone's deranged. Hello. Hey, Janice. I'm Jason Hello. Jacobs. I'm the director of public relations and marketing for the Los Angeles Zoo. Oh. Thank you so much. We're seeing a PR person. Okay, so this is literally, oh, why don't you go to the zoo for a day that make sure you feature our zoo? Come to the zoo. For having my models to the chance to get some I did this with feeding today, penguins. And we need uh, some help. Well, we're gonna help you. We're gonna show you around the zoo, introduce you to a whole bunch of different animals. Right. If you'd like to go see the sea lions first, we can go there. Yes. Take your shirt off and pose, like, pose in front of the sea lion. Think, what would a sea lion do? You have to make like animalistic. Yeah, that's good. Look at the flamingo. This show is not here to build careers for aspiring models. This show is here to humiliate reality TV contestants. Of course it is. Look at the flamingo. That flamingo is looking for lice, or it's looking, it's cleaning itself. Looking for lice? See, now they're all laughing at you. Oh my god, Desiree, look for lice. <laughs> Become one with the animal. Nervous. Don't be nervous. 
Work it out. Nice. There you go. I do have kind of a hard time coming out of my shell when it comes to being in front of the camera. And now, there's a reason why this fashion photographer wasn't used earlier, I'm guessing, is because all of their photos are just like, what? Nice. There you go. I do have kind of a hard time coming out of my shell when it comes to oh, being we are in the, the zoo. and Pop just letting turtles. go and being free. You know, today really, really did help and it kind of showed me, you know, where I need to go and what I need to practice on. Right. Well, I want like you up penguins. here like a penguin. Nice. 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 Change it up a little bit. But the penguins do not make faces. What do you want me to do? You're a happy penguin. Excited penguin. No, not nervous. Happy penguin. Uh -huh. That's a happy, happy penguin. penguin. Yeah, it's sure happy. Sure happy. Hey! Yeah! Happy. Yeah! Look, it was probably hard for me to open up in front of the camera because it's so much going on around me. It's just a lot of people, so... That's, happy, happy. that's not happy. That's bored. Yeah, it is. Okay, so then, okay, don't give us what you're feeling. You step out of it. You step into something else. I mean, okay. I'm still doing happy. No, you're not doing happy because you just said this? I'm still doing happy. You better be happy. Er, I'm going out of my mind right now. I'm here at the zoo with my models, and Lakiska doesn't seem to be serving any kind of emotion or empathy or just any happiness or pleasure or, or gleeful tee hee. I don't know what to do. I asked her what's going on. She's like, I don't know. I think I'm happy. I, I, I don't know what to do. I'm going to go shake her up. Coming. That was a bit much, wasn't it? I feel like the models are like cottoning on to what's actually going on here. I'm sure Lakiska probably feels like this is like, what is this? This is Janice Dickinson's modeling agency, this. Which I can totally understand because I'd be there doing the same thing. As the Janice Dickinson woman on? on the game. Right. Nothing? Are you okay today? Yeah. Are you okay today? Why is it so quiet you're again? Not, you, you're not giving it to us. I know it's in there. Just sit on it for a minute. You're going, we're gonna come back to you, okay? about this. Today, Logan and I brought the models to the zoo to try to help the models lose their inhibitions to become wild things. But Kiska had a fit. I don't know what's the going on with this girl. I don't think she's modeling today at all. I think she's pulling a little spoiled child act. And I'm not happy with her. Let's go Do look that. at the monkeys. Let's go look at the monkeys. I think monk monkeys are playful, fun animals. And I they're going to show you how yeah. to swing and have a good time. <laughs> 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 Look how the monkey's posing. That monkey poses better than any model I've ever seen. <laughs> you now go. Take going to a dentist office. Oh, monkey business is fun. A different it's photo sound, though. It's really getting everybody out of their mold. It's your turn, Kiho, to act like a monkey. <laughs> Shooting with the monkeys was probably my favorite uh, thing because I looked like the biggest idiot. You know, the more and more you, you do that, the more relaxed and more free you feel in front of the camera. Uh, Desiree, why don't you do some uh, energy movement over here, honey? Energy okay. movement. Kids, kids, watch Andrew. Kate, Desiree, Kiho, watch Andrew move. See? Nice. I guess Andrew wins the monkey Andrew contest. <laughs> Look, he's got. It is your turn to be free like a monkey. Oh, this is her storyline, isn't it? She's going, she, whatever it is, no. Picture the monkey in your mind, Lakiska. I mean, these monkeys are laughing at your ass. I'm not kidding you. I can't afford to have an agency of girls if they don't feel like modeling. Well, they just don't feel like it. No, that's not That's not what I foresee as a business. All right, you're not You don't really have much of a business it. as it you is. You know what, it's, not, it's just not your day. Today, as far as the picture taking, I don't know if I really improved because I wasn't like getting into it like some of the others were. I could have been a lot better. Well, let's give Logan a big round of applause, please. We just finished our day at the Los Angeles Zoo, and it was a little bit more challenging than we expected. Mm. The Kiska posed a problem from the beginning. The Kiska is oh, in our own upset. world. We're a little concerned about her. And Desiree, my overall read on her is gorgeous girl. Don't know that she wants to be a model. As long as it's easy, she's in. And if it's gonna be challenging, she might not do the work. Thank yeah. you to you Honestly, very much. Thank you so much for all of your courtesy. What we weird, just finished at the zoo weird a long, arduous day of trying to teach arduous models girls. how to experiment arduous. their faces to connect mind, heart, body, and soul for the photograph. Or was it really just an advert for the Janice Dickinson Modeling Agency to visit the LA Zoo with five special guests? Is that it? Christina's house. 
Stina's house? Ever since the IFL job in Portland, I've been Stina's thinking house. about leaving the agency. The house! But do it like it. You oh, here we are. Yes, remember this. I'm gonna oh. kill her today. She's not on. Work with me. I don't get constructive criticism. I don't get, this is what you should be doing. Yeah. I get, you're a piece of crap and kick you to the curb. The yeah. one person in the world I know that I can go to is my mom. Oh. A lot's going on with the agency right now. We've been getting new girls, and I've been kind of in a position where I have to decide where I want my career to go. Is well, she going to quit? I'm just a little nervous. I hope well, she quits this I agency, like not modeling. Janice and I don't see eye to eye. Is this a career you want? It is a job that takes so much rejection. Can you do that? The biggest thing is just Janice. Okay, from mum. What do you mean? Just her harping on me. I just don't know how to, like, deal with it. I don't feel like I could ever really make her happy. Janice, it's been a little hard on me, and I don't know if it's out of a place of wanting to develop me as a model or out of frustration with me. So, well, if Janice is that hard on you, have you considered going with another agency? I just don't know if we see eye to eye. Oh. And I don't know if her agency is the best way Good. for me to go. Good. I have to have a conversation. I agree. That's it's not what a I job. need to do. Sit down with her and let her know the impact of what she says. Oh, guitar music. Yes, we're getting married. Welcome, welcome, oh. welcome. Back at the yes. Hacienda, the, the butt toning class. Oh. Oh. Today class. I brought the models in Why that I truly believe have the biggest problems me. with their derrieres. Janice. I hear we've got a 911 ass emergency. Tracy Effinger is renowned in Southern California for the booty, booty, booty. I brought Tracy in. Right, so does she want people to have bigger butts or not? Is this the thing? The butt blaster goddess extraordinaire to like help us all with these bits called the sass. It's when your (gasps) thigh meets your ass and it's all one. I'm here to show the models some specific exercises they can do to target these areas between the thigh and the ass. To separate them and give them each their own identity. I can't pick you separately from the rest of the agency because of the fast, and you guys really need work in the back area. Me and the other five models were wondering why we were the ones chosen to come for the workout. I'm sorry, but look at this ass here. Like, I don't know if you can see it very well, but like, that's an in-shape ass. I'm so confused. Today, it's like Humiliation. fat camp. <laughs> I want that up there. I'm the only Asian that'll be pinching you like a little crab. <laughs> Trace, look, yeah. it's that. Trace yeah. is that cute butt. <clears throat> we want it up. When I saw Tracy naked at the tanning salon, I realized she needed a whole lot of work, honey. She has a lot of potential, but what I realized, honey, she's got to get the ass off the back of her kneecap. Can we stop watching Janice force these people to spread their cheeks, please? Are you that sort? <laughs> okay. Okay, Miss Nia Bell. It's a beautiful butt. Yeah. I thought Nia Bell, she's beginning to shape up. Her body is coming together in a healthy way. We need to get a little shelf going here. Booty, booty, booty! <laughs> oh, my God. When I saw Brian Kehoe's butt for the first time, I wanted to head for the hills. Honey, he needs a whole lot of shaping up to do. I'm the only guy here. I'm kind of looking around, waiting for some of Why has she got, like, a riding crop? Okay, this is some weird fetish. This is absolute fetish bait content. This is, this is what is that? Where they go to cut the cake on TikTok and never do it. My uh, male model buddies to show up and they're not here. I'm gonna say something about Crystal. Okay. She has recently put in more work than any woman I've ever met. You, you're exempt from this right now. Okay, Jordan. What can we do for Jordan right here? Cause that's no, no, that's a no, 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 no. Yeah. Well, Jordan's very beautiful. She has no physical presence. And working out is something she needs to help her get in touch with her body and her own energy. Hit the stairs, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get in touch with your own energy. Let's go, don't be scared. Move it, move it, move it. Hold it right here, squeeze the ball. Shoulders back. I want you to listen to the sound of Janice whacking that flab off your butt. Now and come up. Stina, can I have a word with you for a minute, honey? I took Stina aside. We had a discussion about what transpired in Portland to break it down. I was hard on Stina. Stina, please. Oh, ow, 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 ow. 
production stepped in and gone, look, you're going to lose this model who apparently is getting involved with all these brands if you keep doing all that. So be nice to Tina, girls. Although Janice is an executive producer, so maybe it's just a whim on her mind. I'm not going to say it again. Read my mind. I'm going to kill her today. She's awful. not on. Awful, awful, awful. Work with me. And that's part of my nature. Hopefully, Tina won't quit the agency today. Are you going to leave the agency? Yes. Bye. I was surprised that Janice came and pulled me aside to talk to me about the IFL. Oh, just she because she says a lot of things a lot of the time that are hurtful to people and doesn't really take responsibility, responsibility for that. Yes! I felt a little broken down in Oregon. I felt like, um... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just want you to know that I'm feeling your pain. Okay. Like, I felt like I was being attacked by you, where I feel like I've been working so hard, I've been losing weight, and I just felt like... Like it didn't matter, like none of it mattered. I felt like I was singled out and embarrassed in front of the client. And, and you were. It hurt my feelings, to That's be honest. That's what she did. I'm really hard on you because I really care about you. So if I was a little too hard, I want to say I'm sorry. Okay. But it probably will happen again. <laughs> I'm really sorry to That's... say I'm sorry for the future. But if it's not this, it's going to be something else. That's just how I do. I hope, hopefully, we can chemically ride this out. I need to. This is not a heartwarming moment. We do not need this heart lovely heartwarming da 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 She's going to stay. We don't need that. What Janice? has just said is, I've abused you once, I'm probably gonna do it again. Good luck. Take what she says and take the advice rather than letting it hurt me. So you're gonna stay? Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you, Janet. All right, I'm gonna work oh, no! Incorrect. No, do not agree. Absolutely not. So you're like this. That was not no, heartwarming. Was... What was that music? We were doing those damn leg lifts and I swear my butt and my thigh were gonna fall off. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. At one point during the workout, I felt like all of a sudden my face was on fire and was like burning up. Oh, up, up. Squeeze the booty. But I wasn't gonna stop and I kept going. But also like one workout. One workout is not gonna create a buttock. It takes like a year to create good glutes. Good, Crystal. Jordan was a little weak. Jordan had no energy. She was giving up. What have you, what did you eat for breakfast today? I can't eat in the morning. It makes me really nauseous. Yep, same. I had coffee. Coffee's not good, baby. It's it's depletes your vitamin B12. Uh, we need to talk. I'm not feeling replenish. Jordan as a model. I've got a problem with Jordan right now. She doesn't listen to me when I talk to her about diet. She doesn't want to eat. She drinks coffee in the morning. It's not sounding that you have a proper diet to me. I eat lunch and then a snack in the midday and then I have dinner. Yeah, but you, your stomach is nauseous right now because you're taking antacids because you drink coffee in the morning. I don't want to argue with you about your diet. You, you've got, we, you, I think you should go see a nutritionist. I'm going to speak to you later and I'll talk to your mom. Right, but you don't have to eat in the morning if it makes you feel nauseous. And that's the last thing I want to do. I usually take a few hours before I want to eat anything. Dr. Lee's attitude has been milquetoast the entire time I've met her. She Dr. started yelling at Peter during a photo shoot. I looked at Jordan working out with the trainer and she couldn't like keep up in the trainer class. I progressively kept my eye on her and I don't think she's model material. Oh dear. Oh, this the music. Jordan. Hi. Look at that photo. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Fine. Please sit down. Which chair would you like? Oh, she's Which chair would I her, like? Just two. Janice Pick looks chair. very tanned, this one. Judging on your photographs, Jordan, and observing Beautiful. what's been going on with you over the past few weeks, uh, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing model. Your attitude's a little off, Jordan. I don't have a bad attitude with anyone I work with. You, you've had an incredibly bad attitude uh, right back from the start when there was a photo shoot with uh, Ileon and the snake. Hold it right there. I'm going to add something to this outfit. It's gross. <laughs> Peter Hom asked you to lose some weight. You started a big argument in the parking lot in front of the clients. What happened? Well, he tells me, he whispers in my ear not to drink a soda again. Well, you shouldn't be drinking sodas. In front of the clients. I love the fact that she's just said here, in front of the clients. There wasn't any clients there. This is her photo shoot. This is a photo shoot that the Janice Dickinson Modeling Agency booked to create extra things for the composite cards. There are no clients. There were no clients on set. Janice was the client. Fishy, fishy, fishy storyline. Whispers in my ear not to drink a soda again. Well, you shouldn't be drinking sodas anyway. But <laughs> you know, look at me. Chop I'll drink whatever I damn well please. This is not the Girl Scouts, Jordan. It's a multi-million dollar business. And unfortunately, and you have you're none not of it. right for this agency. Oh, okay, that's fine with me. I haven't seen a penny, so it's fine. 
Well, you haven't you haven't qualified for a penny because, quite frankly, your butt's been too big. Oh, your attitude yeah. sucked. When I asked you to work on your diet, uh, there was an argument from you. Did Janice just say the reason why we haven't paid you is because you've got a big butt? That is disgusting. Ugh. Oh. How does this woman still have a career? It will be ended now. Janice decided to like pick on me about, um, you know, exercising and dieting. And I don't do that stuff. Like, honestly, I, I walk the dog at max and I think I look amazing. Do you talk about me behind my back? Well, sometimes I say like you could handle things differently in front of some people. Well, why don't you say it to my face? I am right now. Well, okay. since you're 18 years old, and I'm 52, and I've been on the cover of every major magazine in the world. Yes. Miss 18-year-old genius, educate me. Like, if you're not happy with somebody, you don't have to say, like, flat out to them that they're ugly and fat. You can just say, thank you for your time. I'm glad you came in for me. That, that means a lot. You're not right for this agency, so I'm sorry. Okay. Our relationship is over. Even if you said it was, I would, I would want to leave anyway. I have other offers coming in from Excellent. other agencies. You should be a brownie. Bye. Okay. Thank Later. you, Janice. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Janice, you may be on French Vogue covers, but let's remember I'm the one with 148 IQ. I'm smart. <laughs> oh, no. Not a ridicule moment. Oh, they had to embarrass her, didn't they? They just had to embarrass her at the last minute. Well done, Jordan, for leaving this absolute shit show. The idea that she said, well, I haven't seen a penny anyway, is excellent because she's been at this agency for what? Since the start of the season, she was discovered, oh my god, a doctor at 18, blah, blah, Janice's favourite thing. This is what Janice does, is she'll pull them in, spit them out, and then go, well, you didn't deserve payment anyway, because your ass is fat. Imagine any other, any other place of work that anyone said that to you. Right, what's, 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 what's gonna happen in this last bit? Linnea Boulouage. Right, the nice photo shoot. Nice to see you. See you, Don. Oh, you look fabulous. Most excellent. Well, today is the Linnea Pelle shoot in a beautiful, tiled mansion. Well, I'm excited, let's right. meet the photographer. That's what she could say, a beautiful, yeah, tiled nice mansion. You. Thank you for the compliment. My models are the gorgeous ones. Uh, I'm Tal Carrasso, I'm the photographer on the set. Hello. Uh, and we're shooting the Linea Capella campaign and we yes. are using uh, Janice Dickinson's uh, models. Sir. Wanted to, wanted to make sure that yes, that is you the know point of the show. Are going to be nude on camera. So just nude on camera. <gasps> Hope we're getting paid nude rates. When Janice arrived to the shoot, it was like a storm came in. You so know, they I mean, didn't the know wind this and is going to be nude the before the shoot. Like was shaking oh, and tumbling. Dear. It was a lot of fun to watch the real thing happening. Oh, Fargo, you look phenomenal. Phenomenal. I'm especially excited for Fargo. This is like really her first high, high fashion shoot. It's a really custom and outline. And they're going to make um, beautiful naked? location. It's not the type of commercial type work she's been doing. This is a high fashion job. Give me life. High fashion belt. High fashion bag. Nice. Feel it, baby. Just feel it. It comes from within. Feel it. There you go. Tal, let's get off the piano. Yeah, I was very um, disappointed with Fargo. Um, I thought that her look was something that isn't so much um, what my product is marketing towards. You like your whole face go down, just like open up. Please, Donna, allow it. Listen, I'm not saying a word. This is business. Whatever you want TJ to do, TJ will do. I mean, really. TJ, why don't you go interact with her? I think it's really weird that the client gets jealous every time Fargo's around. Fargo just threatens women. It's amazing. How about make out with her or something? Okay, babe. The light on her is phenomenal. Just relax it, you know? That's it. That wasn't even a photo. That was a snapshot from the video. Oh, my God. Okay, are we having, like, tea? Phenomenal. Is this tea? Just relax tea. it, you know? That's What's it. going on here? <laughs> That's it. I mean, everyone's just not looking good right now. Yes, it is. I'm not quite sure what's up with Donna. I'm starting to get the feeling that her issue with Fargo Janice, no. might have something behind it. It looks that, like, beautiful. Hot. I would. It's not hot on film. It's it's almost like too provocative for the product. But it is provocative. That's the point. Well, like in a Playboy way. I know that right from the start, Donna wasn't my biggest fan. You know, she didn't choose me. So I kind of got my spirits down. I wasn't feeling real good about it. This is a stunning woman that every man wants to buy the bag, to hopefully making his wife look like this girl with the bag. What do you think? I can what is this? 
But again, if you feel that she's not the type of what well, we you, need, you I, mean, shot all that I, I think it's gonna work. Oh, I think she looks too. too it much. just looks a little slutty. Yeah. I was wearing lingerie, and it was apparently too voluptuous for the shots. So yes, but they put you in it. Set, but life goes on. I'm annoyed. This is just a waste of time. How can you be annoyed at the model for the styling when the model is not responsible for the styling? No, it's not. Look at this. I see what your dad sees. It's wasting time. She's not a model. She's not a model. Okay, but that's... But that's why are we wasting time? Just yes. get the other girl out. That's interesting. Hey. If you don't make it right, I'm gonna have to let her go. Okay, she, she can marry. I just don't see it. I don't, I don't think she's a model. Fargo I'm having a little bit of a problem with, I think that um, her look just may not be what I'm looking for. I'll probably have to let her go. Hey. Interesting. What's wrong? You just hate Fargo. Because she shoots very maximum, and that's the problem. Okay. I'm not selling sex to men. She chose me. I know. Well, I also told him the exact situation, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the photos right now, and um, if... If I don't see her, you know, living up a little bit, kind of, you know, not looking as maximum-ish, I'm just gonna have to cut it. Peter was informing me that Donna was thinking of firing Fargo. I went to go find her to see if there's anything I could do. Donna, you need anything? Oh, no, good thing. What are you doing with TJ in between your legs? <laughs> What's going on here? When I saw Donna in between TJ's legs, how? It really threw me for a loop. So you've got your hands all over my model again? I bet you hired him just to meet him. You can't keep your hands off my model, right? He's too sexy. He's not that sexy. Yeah, I yeah. am. No, you're not. You're just like you're just like shoving and pulling TJ from room to room. Throughout the day, I noticed what is, that Donna this is and so TJ were acting. All of this whole situation is very unprofessional. Everyone in this situation is terrible. What's that phrase? Everyone's the asshole. Being really suspicious together. I was really beginning to piss women. me off. How come you're always down by his crotch, Donna? I'm gonna kill this woman. So I thought he'd Is mess she... with him to see if I could get to the bottom of this. Right. You can't get a reputation for sleeping with the clients, TJ. <laughs> I'm not sleeping You'll with You'll get the a clients. reputation real fast. I don't think Is I ever slept with any of my clients. Who said I was sleeping with the client? You're making my father love. How do you want to speak? Your father to her? loves me. Yeah, who are you dating, Wynn? I thought there was something odd about Donna on the day of the casting. Which one guy do you want? You got the choice on that. No overriding. Yes, okay. I like him. Okay, so oh my god, one. Donna, you're like a croupier at Vegas. You know what? I know what I like. I know what I like and I know it very quickly. And if you pick TJ so fast at that lineup, it'd make it knock your socks off, honey. She didn't look at anybody else who was standing in front of her. Are you gonna show him to the next room again? As I was walking down the hallway, I noticed the doorway of the dressing room was slightly ajar. And I caught a peek at both TJ and Donna in With a saw. camera in your face. I'm gonna talk about you then. I'm gonna say TJ's the most amazing I ever had. Better say that. Oh my, oh my god, god, a scandal at the cool. agency! TJ and Donna were macking big time. Who the hell do they think they are? My model should not be fraternized with the clients, no matter what. TJ! Yes? Are you dating Donna? Yeah. Why are you dating her? What happened? Tell me everything. We just, uh, we went on a date, and, uh, we just hit it off. I don't Is this run illegal this type of behavior? an agency. I'm not Heidi Fleiss. I'm a model agent! Did you have sex with her? Oh, a scandal, girls! A scandal at the agency! I was fully, like, invested in whatever storyline that was. That's how reality TV gets you, doesn't it, my lovelies? And with that, I've got some thoughts. What an episode this has been! It's been a little bit confusing. I've been very confused this whole time because I don't know what this show is! We saw so many different storylines happening within the first, like, 25 minutes of this episode, really. The, we had the snake and tarantula being introduced as like supermodels arriving in a limousine. And then we had the zoo segment, which, if I'm honest with you, just seemed a bit like a PR relationship with LA Zoo between Janice Dickinson's modeling agency and five guests. So I don't really understand what the point of that was because it was never mentioned again. They weren't like, oh, because of your photo shoot at the beginning of the woman inside the zoo, we're going to be doing this now at this point. Like, no, at the end it was just, let's fast forward to belts, bags, and Fargo being bullied by everyone on set because she looks too hoochie mama, even though the styling 
wasn't done by her, it was done for her. So like, what is the truth? What's the tea? Also the little segment with Steena there, which kind of sent me over the edge, was when Janice was just literally like, well, I know I treated you awfully, but that's just me, a wacky old Janice guy, don't have to be mad to work here, but you do have to be a and I'm probably gonna do it again, girls. Just so you know, are you gonna leave? No, wonderful. Steena should have just gotten up and left. Like, Janice Dickinson's modeling agency is absolutely not a viable agency. And the way we even saw them from the way that she spoke to Jordan about parts of her body that were very normal. She was 18 years old. 18! Have you ever met an 18 year old? They are literally children still. I can say that, I'm in my mid 30s. <laughs> Again, I just don't know how any of us made it through the 2000s with like any semblance of a working brain because this is the kind of show, not just this show, I mean, this is a pretty extreme example. There are a lot more insidious, under the radar comments that happen rather than Janice just being like, you've got a fat ass, you should go. The idea that at the very end, Janice was like, this is a multi-million dollar industry. And Jordan had the confidence to say, and I haven't seen a penny. <laughs> Loved it because it's true. It just goes to show none of the people on this show from the reality TV contestants point of view, the upcoming models have ever been paid, are ever going to be paid, beat the microphone girls, are seeing any sort of payment from being on this show. Well, my lovelies, let me know what you think about what we've seen in today's episode in the comments box below, because it's been a lot. It's been a lot. Every time I watch one of these episodes, I feel like my blood pressure is like boiling, girls. And with that, my lovelies, it's time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen here. Yes, you can. If you'd like to give the Chanel some extra support, my lovelies, click the link to the Patreon in the description box below, and you can see all the tier rewards and the such like. And with that, my lovelies, as always, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Or Cosmo. Emoji, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christy Crownover, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Danielle, Elizabeth Stone, Emily Worsham, Eric Castillo, Finn Dunham, Jen Martin, Caitlin Wright, Larry Lane, Laura Jane, Les Banana, Lizette Cares, Min Mintier, Mariah Sherman, Ms. Kiss, Novembrix, Paolo Rivera, Rubik's Co, Ryan Vita, Slampire Queen, Steffi Tech, The Chaos Collective, Vicky Walsh, Victoria Carella, and Zoe Sevier. And you know what, my loves? I think I'm gonna leave it on the note of Let's not take nervous people around certain types of animals that make them more nervous and then force them into a photo shoot situation for your own agency and no payment. Should we not do that? Let's not do that. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. <gasps>